today we're going to do some experimenting with unprotected left turns. So basically stop signs have to cross traffic without a traffic signal. Here we're crossing two lanes of traffic to the left. Nope. I'm just proceeding manually at this point. Go. Okay, here we have another stop sign with a hard left turn across two lanes of traffic. It's clear to the left, so no issues here. It's just going very slow. Left lane is open. All right, did a pretty good job without any speeding left traffic. Okay, here we have another stop sign crossing two lanes of traffic. We have a median on the left and a median in the center of the highway to cross. Nope, didn't see that traffic. Okay, I'm coming out of a parking lot, crossing that same divided highway with a left turn. There's no stop sign right here, but it definitely needs to cross traffic. And it didn't see the traffic. Backing up. These angles are a little bit tough for traffic that's moving about 45 or 55 miles an hour this particular road the speed limit is 50 and of course most people are doing closer to 60. All right we're going to try a few simpler ones this is just a two-lane road with an unprotected left turn. As soon as the uh, auto steer will enable I'll turn it on. slow off the acceleration. Oh, it's uh, for mapping purposes. All right, this is an unprotected left turn with a small median in here onto a two-lane road. There's traffic approaching from the right. It finally stopped, but it was in the middle of the road when it stopped. give that a uh, C plus. No All right, this is quite a much more complex intersection here. Blind left turn crossing three lanes of traffic. I'm not very hopeful for this. All right, it is clear if it's going to go for it, so it didn't have any traffic to be worried about. It's going very slow, more clear on the right. Okay, so technically it did it. Um, and I don't think that uh, that means it couldn't have done it with traffic. I just think that traffic is the variable right now uh, that its hesitancy is uh, preventing a safe blind left turns at the moment. Okay, this is a parking lot uh, crossing three lanes of traffic with an unprotected left turn. There's no stop sign right here, but there's a stop line. Uh, the traffic is clear to the left if it does try to proceed, but it's going to need to hurry and it looks like it's waiting. All right, uh, the traffic is clear after this car. And it's flashing here, it, uh, it's unsure of what to do. I'll just give it a second, there's a car behind me now. All right, it's clear to the left if it wants to proceed. All right, I'm gonna tap the accelerator now and give it a, an edge, and it did go when I tapped the accelerator. And it definitely didn't stay in the left lane perfectly. And it's jumping all the way over to the right lane. Okay, this is a little bit more complex, unprotected left turn. It's got a hard left to come back in the direction and looking for uh, traffic that's oncoming this direction. 
clear to the left. But it almost hit the median. Okay. Okay, let's uh, try this again. It's the same uh, hard left crossing a uh, lane of traffic coming this way, but it's got to go around the median. There's a stop sign right here that's coming into view. All right, it's clear on the left. Okay, it's no longer clear. And it did see the traffic, I guess. That's good, it did see it. There's another car up here. All right. Oh, it, uh, it rerouted itself that time. Maybe it realized that turn was a little too difficult. It did uh, the solution that time. GoPro stop. Okay, this is a little bit more straightforward, just a 90 degree turn, but it is across uh, one lane of oncoming traffic with a median on the left, but not a median on the right. All right, traffic is clear. All right, it did a good job, and I thought it creeped slow enough. Had there been traffic, it probably would have uh, done just fine. This is an unprotected left turn coming out of a parking lot with a stop sign. All right, it's clear to the left and right. All right, nice job. Not exactly smooth as silk, but it uh, saved the lane nicely. Okay, this is an unprotected left-hand turn with multiple stop signs from multiple different directions. It does have to cross uh, a couple lanes of traffic and a median on the left. And the visibility is very, very poor from back here, so it needs to creep for sure. And it was not creeping enough. Let's go pro stop. Okay, this is kind of a complex intersection here with a stop sign, multiple stop signs, and the need to definitely creep up to see traffic that's oncoming this way. So this is an unprotected left turn with a deep stop that it needs to creep and it's okay that car made it slow down and now it looks like it's going to proceed okay nice okay we're going to try this one again multiple stop signs with a deep stop line that it needs to creep on good stop it needs to be going slower. Okay, because yeah, I couldn't even see the traffic, so there was no way it would have seen the traffic there. Okay, this is that same intersection, but from a different angle, where it needs to have a slow creep to check for the traffic up and to the left before it can do the unprotected left turn. There's the stop. All right, it did not creep slow enough. It was clear, so I let it proceed, but um, I think it, it didn't creep slow enough for my comfortable nature had a car been coming. Okay, so this is an unprotected left turn um, when the light is not with the green arrow. So it's a left yield on green. Pretty good visibility. Very nice job. All right, we've been doing some testing on unprotected left turns. Uh, I just want to comment that unprotected left turns are challenging uh, because oncoming traffic uh, may or may not be uh, going the speed limit. And the visibility the car has at some intersections with occlusions is very, very difficult. Um, so these are challenging situations and I'm just trying to document them so we can see how the software evolves uh, towards full self-driving. Very nice.